Welcome back to Eternal Darkness. In the last episode, we finished up the story with the reporter, and coming into the present with Alex, we got the Lucky Penny, which we used as the reporter to get a fuse box up and going, and I'm guessing we can do the same thing here. The only question for me is, where's the fuse box? I know where the room is that needs power, but I don't know where the fuse box is. Oh, whoa. I think this is more than just a hallucination, right? I can't get the blood out. Ugh. Oh. Nice. Basement key. As in the basement that that goes down to the necropolis? I think it's this way, right? Yes. You know, we haven't fought a single enemy as Alex yet. Ah, uh, yeah, it was down here that led to the necropolis. Oh, I think the circuit breaker's over there, too. Cool. God, those are disturbing noises. So before, last time we went down here, it was already open. It was just filled with water and we had to pump it out, but now, now the pump is gone. And it's covered. Fuse box and circuit breaker array is situated upon the wall. All but one of the fuses are intact. The absence of this one is suspicious, and until it is replaced, the circuit connected to it is useless. Wait, what? Oh, it was a hallucination. Okay, I was confused for a second. I still don't know whether this note from Edward is a joke, by the way. You know, the one that talks about the 88 keys? Like, it must be, but it's still in my inventory. No, not check. Sorry, I got lost in the menu for a second. There we go. Ooh, I see a note or maybe a page from the thing on top of that chest. Hmm. Safe is large and old-fashioned, made in the days when security was derived from the heavy metal construction rather than secure locking mechanisms. Doesn't look like it would be too difficult to break the combination if only Alex had a stethoscope to hear the tumblers more clearly. Ah. That old trick, listening for the clicks. What is this room? A mechanical device is secure to the floor. Long metal screws hold a dull metal dish firmly against the floor. The locking mechanism is fixed to the top of the dish, looking towards the ceiling. Oh, that must come out at the, um... That comes out in the, the room with the telescope and all that stuff. Hmm. Part of the, uh, light focusing mechanism thing. Can I do anything with it? I don't think so. Nah, it's probably for later. I grab this. No, it looks like it's kind of shining. Oh, shotgun on the wall. Nice. Comes preloaded, revolver's loaded. Okay. Oh. Is this real? Are we finally actually doing this? Oh, 
Alex finally confronts the demons. Please, please cast it. Please cast it. Come on. Ah. Oh, that's weird. They just like instantly disappear. Huh. That's different. I wonder why. <laughs> Things have changed. It's looking nice. It's a nice picture. A hellish depiction of some monstrous landscape. A blood-covered sky hangs over a dementedly surreal land in which flayed skins flap in an acidic breeze. What mind could have conceived this? Well, it's not that way. Although, I'm curious if more stuff has changed. I want to see everything that's changed. No, that's all the same. Toilet's just as hellish as ever. Ooh, ammo. Wait, just... on the ground? That seems too good to be true. Is this a hallucination? This yeah, I didn't think so. Really happening. Here we go, can finally see. antique medicine cabinet hangs on the wall. Its wood is stained from years of use and the ambient humidity of the room. Open the cabinet. Yeah, what could go wrong? Oh, I thought something was going to jump out. Well, that's the next chapter page, so what is this? Page from the Journal of Maximilian Roybus. Haven't seen one of those in a long time. I sought to love all, yet now love causes me pain and suffering. I have learned to fear nothing, although it is nothing that I most fear. All that were loyal to me now number among my worst enemies. I can't open this chest. It just looks like a treasure chest though, like I really want to know what's inside. A Legacy of Darkness. You are not free to leave this plane until you complete a task for me. You are to hunt and kill the master of this house. Do this one thing and you will be free. Else fear the wrath of Uriel. So that thing's coming for me right now, right? Everything is complete for your arrival, Master. Now we must wait for the planets to align, and that is not too many years from now. Another Roivus has crossed our path. This time, we will not be so merciful. Mercy has no place in this world. He will meet such a horrible death that the rest of the line will never set foot in his house again. Pray to me that they don't. Hmm, I guess I wasn't for Alex then. Years in the past. Not sure which of the Roifuses that was. Was it the one that actually went into the necropolis a little bit? Although they didn't actually die, they just were put in an asylum. Hmm. Oh, the grandfather. My education in psychiatry did not prepare me. 
I would love to see how Freud's view of his mother would change with the knowledge of Chaturga. How Skinner would incorporate Zelotath into his behaviorist theories. How Jung would accommodate Ulioth into his theory of the collective unconscious. Like my ancestor, Maximilian, I too had an interest in my family tree. As a psychiatrist, I believe that science could provide answers into my family's sordid, bizarre past. It was with great excitement that I began my search. The mansion's history was filled with my colorful predecessors. Everything from convicted and hung witches to committed madmen, each laying their own peculiar mark on its character. I intended to find their secrets. This part of the library is reserved for the entertaining of the house's more scholarly guests. A simple yet elegant layout affords quiet drink and conversation. Journal of Family History rests on the mantle, as if used recently. That thing looks like it weighs about 50 pounds, my god. <laughs> Liquid courage. Is that for sanity? Small flask of the old sauce, liquid courage, a magical elixir to power one's spirit in the face of adversity. So wait, is it magica then? Oh no, using it will regain sanity. Okay. An old musty book, bound in dry, dusty leather. This book covers the early history of the Royvis family, dating back before the settlers in this land. There appears to be something pressed between the pages. Let's get it out. Minute hand of a clock. Is that for the clock that we set to 333? Was this before they discovered that that room existed in this mansion? Actually, before that. Wait a minute. This layout is different, isn't it? There used to be, I mean, in the present, there's a door here as well as here. Alright, this is like the observation room this way. And this leads back to the main room. Hmm. Is this before or after that book in the heart of Montreux? It looks like before. Oh, I don't even have the tome yet, so I can't... Yeah, I can't possibly access it yet. Oh, right, I need the other clock hand. <laughs> that would make sense. Okay, let's go find it. Must be elsewhere in the mansion.
large car carriage clock. And set permanently to 333. Can I just, like, steal one of those hands? It probably wouldn't fit. Wait a minute, what did I say? With no one living in the house for a long time, it's no wonder the pantry is empty. Edward lives out of the refrigerator, so to speak. The servant notices Edward's presence and comments on the weather. Idle chit-chat. Can Edward play the piano? Edward has never learned the piano, but that has not stopped him from hammering away at the keys now and again. It's a very therapeutic. Perhaps one day he would learn it properly. I think Alex said something about Edward not being able to play the piano, right? Ooh, hello. Saber. The bizarre decorated mantle frames the fireplace, adorned with odd sigils arranged in a circular fashion. I look most here in the house. Perhaps this has some special significance. I was thinking Edward might have some special knowledge about what all that means, but I guess not. I mean, I know what it means, but I was hoping for a different description. Okay, this early on, that creepy statue that follows you hasn't been placed. Am I looking for another book? Like, I wonder if the next hand is also going to fall out of a book. There's not too many places left where it could be. Elephant gun! Oh, there's another book there too, it's probably in there. Elephant gun's gotta be really powerful. Edward is reassured of the sight of the family gun cabinet, itself a priceless antique. He would rather not have to smash the windows to get inside, but where did he leave the key? Hmm. Another family history thing. I see something poking out of it. I think I actually see the hand poking out of it. Let's see, this book covers a recent history of the Royvis family, going back perhaps 150 years. It appears to be something pressed between the pages. There we go. Well, before I go back down there, let's see if we can find that key. Though, honestly, I only need the saber. Oh, I wonder if that secret door is not covered up. No, it is. Whoa! Okay. I can't seem to interact with it at all, though. Huh. Alright, let's go back to the clock. Three thirty. Oh, there we go.
Destroy the Guardians, Edward, and avenge my waste. Getting all the weapons. Pick up the tome. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Jesus. Alright, that's a new enemy. Just like sucked out their brains. Oh, and it goes invisible. Oh. Part of a key? Turns them into zombies. Okay. move? They're flashing. Guess not. Half a key tumbles out from the vase that has been toppled and smashed. Bottom half of the basement key. Hmm. Let's... I can't enchant it to fix it, right? Because I need all the parts. Yeah. Because we used enchantment to repair the pots. It feels like a long, long time ago, but you need all the parts to be able to do that, I guess. Okay, nothing weird going on out here. Everybody's normal here. And maybe I should go back up to the weird place in the wall. Whoa. Sorry, buddy. Can we still save him? No, no, target. Oh, I think we did. Oh no, don't suck my brains out. Hmm? Just suck the power out of a thing in the basement? What? Shaken by his brush with death, the servant gives his thanks. He warns that the creature might still be around and extra firepower would be handy. Reminded by his own words, he fishes a key from his pocket and gives it to Edward. Oh! Sweet! Nice! So we can get the elephant gun. So it just like teleported, I guess? Or was that a different one that went down there? Um, how are we doing on health? Not very good. Let's heal. Did the surfing- hold on, did the surfing go back to cleaning? Oh my god, they are dedicated to their job. Almost got killed, definitely got very hurt, and they go back to cleaning while I perform a demonic ritual.
mode. This function allows the character to change the fire selector on guns. Hmm, that's new. Oh, it's hard to tell, but I think it's a double barrel, right? So this is like a single shot or both barrels. Well, definitely both barrels. I'm only going to use it for like really powerful enemies. The Holland and Holland double rifle fires an enormous 0.50 times 3 inch nitro slug, quite capable of stopping rhino or elephants dead in their tracks. Only a crazy man would feel comfortable facing a Holland and Holland. Cast shield. Oh, wait, is the other half in here? Are they both in faces? The other half the key? Eh, apparently not. An exorbitant out of place stained glass window ends the hallway. Whoever put it here had eclectic taste and confirms Edward's belief that the mansion is more folly than a real house. Okay, this is all great, but we s Whoa. We still need the other part of the key. Uh oh. Oh, is it going to go back down? Oh, so it's going to be a constant menace until I get down there and deal with it, huh? Gotcha. Wait a second, I got a new spell, right? Magic pool? I should probably look at that. Oh, is that num- that was number 11, wasn't it? Which we already have? That's the one that put the, like, rune over my head? Probably can't cast it. Oh no, I can. Yeah, best guess it just heals me over time. But yeah, where's the other part of that key, huh? I'm just suspicious of all vases. The first one was in a vase. Where? In desperation to escape from Edward, the vampire creature drops the top half of the key onto the floor. Oh, that's convenient. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was an interesting animation glitch. Slow motion running. Alright, so we need to enchant them. I could probably just cast the lowest version of it, right? Or wait. No, I probably need to combine them first. There we go. Then we enchant it. down here.
Hmm. This thing might actually be kind of hard. I'm going to try the elephant gun. <laughs> Whoa! Kickback. Uh oh. Okay. We need to get the hell out of here, actually. To heal. <gasps> I guess it heals itself all the way when you leave. Fair enough, that's fine. Uh, yeah, the ma yeah, the magic pull over my head is definitely healing me. Okay, cool, so I don't need to do a heal spell, which is good, because I have almost no mana. Um... Is there anything else I want to do? Like, I don't really have time to cast a damage field. Well, I could cast a low tier one, I suppose, huh? If I have the mana for it. Let me just do a very quick lap around the mansion. Maybe that'll be enough for the low tier one. I'm not sure what type this thing is either. I'm just going to assume it's... Blue? So I should probably use green. Low tier, green... Ah, can't cast it. Well, that was both barrels. <laughs> I don't think I have time to reload this thing. No. Oh wait, no, I got one shot in. No, don't examine it. Simple ob obelisk made from an alien stone sits atop the well. Runic design is carved into one side, proclaiming its allegiance. Yeah, if it's sucking power from blue, then that must mean it's blue? So green is the right one, right? To do? Hold on, what do we got here? Summon horror. Oh, that's the one I already made. Yeah, it's just the third tier of summoning. No, 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 no. Examine the damn thing. Or not. I want that weapon. <laughs> got one in. Okay, I got it. Nice. Wait, what? Are you serious? Okay, so I actually have to deal with it before I can even kill it. All right, well, let me regroup. Okay, I'm healed most of the way up, so I can actually move fast, and I've got shield on me, which should protect me for a bit, so let's go try to dispel that thing. So, how strong is it? Oh, it doesn't... Interesting, it doesn't actually show how strong it is. Is it dispel that I want to use, or do I want to just, like, shoot it or something? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna try just like... Hitting it? I mean... There's no way I'm gonna crack stone with a saber. So I'm not sure whether I should dispel it, or do magic attack, or... I don't know, something else? I mean, they just give me summon horror. Like, do I need a horror to deal with it? I don't see why. Other than it's so big, maybe it could just destroy the obelisk? I have no idea. There's just so many possibilities, and I bet you only one of them works. Okay, that didn't work. Um, so... The, the bad thing is, if I choose the wrong one and I go for the highest power, which I should just in case it needs the highest power. I only get like one chance at this and then I have to run around for a really long time <laughs> regaining my mana. Um, 
Dispel? Most powerful dispel? All right, that did nothing. How's my mana now? Well, I have enough to do another one. All right, um... Magical attack, I'm betting I might break it. Did that just do nothing? Oh my god. Okay. Can't dispel it. Can't magic attack it. Uh, I guess summon a horror and try to break it. I mean, a chant, recover, invisible. Damn it, no. It's gotta be the summon horror. Okay, I'm gonna run around for a bit and regain my mana. Okay, got pretty much full mana, which I think we need for the summon horror. If I remember it, it takes a lot of mana. And we got a shield, so we should be able to get it off. Okay. This better work. can't tell. It doesn't look like it. I think it's just my own blood. Which is fine, because I wanted to kill this thing, actually. I guess. Oh. I finally got it. Now I can finally look at one of these things up close. Look at it. I thought it was missing heads, but... No, I think this one's just a different variant. It looks like it's... It looks like it's got, like, mouths where each head was. It's creepy. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna let you go. I think if I leave it looking the other direction, I think it won't do anything? Unless I, like, walk around and get near it and it detects me? I think this, this will give me time to do stuff. Um, so it's green, so I need... What is it? Blue, good against red, red, good against green. So I need red. So... Let's... Let's enchant my elephant gun. With high power red. This thing is pretty powerful. It took either, whoops, it took either four or five shots. I'm not gonna use this to finish him off. I'll use my saber, thanks. Okay, can I finally grab this? Yes. Antique double shotgun. Do we have? Oh, so much shotgun. 
Is that 37? Elephant gun shells? 37? Damn. I have enough to take on anything, I think. Inside the well, a crumbling ladder leads down into the cloying darkness. Should I venture down the ladder? Yes. 